All right, what's on the bench? Um, I did a lot of electro optics in my career and I collected a mass of uh, photodiodes, photoresistors, photo stuff. This is all photo stuff in this, in this little box here. So there's some things like this. It's a big photo diode. You can kind of see it there. Uh, here's some little ones. This came out of a HP project, Hewlett Packard. Uh, these were actually in a, uh, a barcode slot reader. Uh, those little guys are there. Here's some transistors, phototransistors, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so uh, I pulled a couple out here. Here's my, here's my collection here. We'll do a few of these. Um, you might be familiar with these if you're from Arduino land. Uh, these are just a uh, photoresistor. You shine light on it and the resistance changes. Um, Here's another one of these big, uh, uh, big photodiodes in a can. That looks nice, but this is a photoresistor in a can. So yes, they do make real fancy photoresistors as well. And so this is a nice expensive one. Um, here's a little photodiode and a dip package, a clear, clear dip package. Uh, these are this weird photo things I did a video on. Uh, we'll take a look at those and uh, what's this one? This is another uh, photoresistor in a, in a TO92 can with a glass, uh, glass window. All right, let's put some of these things on the curve tracer. So I'm going to put some photodiodes on the curve tracer. So they should look like a diode. So I'm doing a, a plus minus sweep. So they have uh, no reverse uh, breakdown and then they have a forward voltage. This is one volt per division, so we're up here at see, 200, 400 microamps, 600 microamps, 800 microamps. It's up around a volt of forward voltage. It looks like a diode, okay. Uh, let's try a different one. Uh, this one has a little bit better VF characteristics. It's got like a half a volt um, turn on, but again, it looks just like a, uh, looks just like a diode, right? All right, so now I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to have this on and I'm going to shine light on it with a uh, uh, flashlight. My flashlight has batteries in it. There we go. Shine the flashlight and you can see the reverse. Uh, we're, we're creating photo current, okay? So 200, 400, 600 uh, microamps of photo current is when you shine the light on it. Well, let's look at that other one. If I shine light on it, same thing. It's not quite as sensitive. It's a smaller area. This one's about two square millimeters. The other one's maybe 10 square millimeters, something like that. Anyway, you can see though that it uh, uh, creates negative, negative current. So that's the way you use photodiodes. All right, so let's look at a different, different type of device. All right, now I've got in a couple of photoresistors. Uh, let's try the first photoresistor. Uh, this is the one that uh, looks like the one that you would get in an Arduino kit, something like that. Uh, so it acts like a resistor with a little bit of capacitance. So a resistor plots along a straight line. A resistor, a capacitor has a little bit of uh, a loop in it. All right. Now if I put my hand over it, you can see that the resistance changes. Okay. And so we have a photoresistor. The resistance changes with the amount of uh, light. And if I shine my flashlight on it, I can get it to go straight up and down. All right. Let's try the other one. This other one is the one in a fancy metal can. Let's try him. He's very sensitive already. Put my hand over him and he goes flat. So yeah, a bigger area, better quality part. He works, he works like a photoresistor. All right. So that's photodiodes and photoresistors. All right. Now let's, uh, go to the part that's uh, interesting. Uh, see if I can remember to put a link in down below, but these are these funny little, funny little devices that have uh, two leads on them. They're about uh, 100 mils in diameter. Sorry about the dryer. Let's put him in here, put him in over here. And uh, we'll turn him on and we see, we see nothing at all. And we shine a flashlight on it and look at that. Look at that. So 
Let's go up here to five volts. Yeah, very, very strange part. Okay, so is he a photo diode? Well, he has both forward and the reverse directions. So not exactly a photo diode. Uh, not exactly a photoresistor either. The line has a break in it. It's like a, like a diode. So these guys are really, really weird. Um, yeah, let me put a little bit more voltage in it. Let's do this. Add some more volts. Yeah. Anyway, he's he's strange. <laughs> he's just super, super strange. I've never seen a graph that looks that way before. So there's almost no forward forward voltage drop. Let's go here to uh, here's half a volt. And that's not that. Let's go to uh, 100 millivolts. Uh, my battery's dying here. So maybe 100 millivolts of forward current of, of, of forward voltage. Very, 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 very tiny forward voltage. Um, very, very strange part. So somebody said they thought they knew the, um, maybe the, a data sheet that, maybe not the exact data sheet, but a data sheet very sim, uh, similar to this part that we've got here. Yeah, really strange part. All right. All right, so uh, we were looking at some photodiodes, and then we were looking at some photoresistors. Here's a fancy photoresistor. Uh, we looked at this one and this one. Um, so the photodiodes acted like I expected them to. The photoresistors acted like I expected them to. The one that didn't act like anything that I'm familiar with is this weird guy here, okay? Did a video on these. I'll try to remember to put a link down below. But um, Yeah, so what are these guys? Let me show you the data sheet that somebody pointed to. All right, so we'll call this chip of the day. It is a type 1N2175. NPN diffuse silicon photoduodiode. A duodiode and it's an NPN structure. So there are two diodes back to back, just like an NPN diode. Um, they're pointing out, right? The two arrows are, let me draw a picture. So if you're gonna draw the symbol for this thing, it would look like this. Um, there would be a P junction here and a PN junction here, positive, negative, positive, negative. And then these are the legs. So this is all encapsulated. All right. And these are the two leads that come out. And these are photo photodiodes. So they look something like that. And it is diffused silicon. So I believe that it, it, it's, and these are silicon, so people may said maybe these are germanium, but I don't think so. I think they're just heavily diffused. So you can imagine that there's a bunch of dopants in, in this layer and things just kind of, uh, things just kind of cross over. It's like adding a, a kind of a bulk resistance to everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird part. It's a weird part. Uh, but yeah, it says T1 on it, T1 on it. Uh, this one says uh, T1, so that's correct. And on this side, let me get my magnifier out. On this side, it says H09 or 1109. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't match these data sheets. But it is a very interesting part. And take a look at the way it's constructed. Got the two leads coming in. There's a piece of alumina in here that kind of holds everything together. And then on those little post wire posts is jammed in there this the silicon chip, this duo diode. And then the whole thing is encapsulated in glass. So yeah, the whole this whole thing is glass. It's painted black uh, just to keep the light out. Um, but it's just a glass, it's like a little tiny uh, light bulb. It's all encapsulated in glass. Pretty strange part. Um, dark current. Uh, typical photo current rise times. Typical sensitivity. 
microamps per milliwatt per yeah microamps per foot candles <laughs> 0.6 microamps per foot candles if anybody's calibrated to those units i am not and uh, a lot of graphs uh dark current derating curve light current characteristics versus temperature so if you heat this thing up you get more more current out that's no surprise typical dark current we don't care about that typical response light modulation frequency so how fast it can go and uh hmm i don't know none of these graphs really do it for me they don't really tell me what i'm what i'm interested in like sensitivity and stuff anyway weird part we'll call it uh, call it chip of the day a type uh, 1n 2175 nobody knows if anybody builds these things anymore uh yeah they're, they're a weird device